Well, hey there, guys. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. This uh, is another 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 sort of uh, edition of uh, uh, car talk with Larry, or or whatever. However, I want to title whatever I'd want to title this little series as I'm getting uh, getting done uh, doing my uh, work runs and I'm on the way home. But uh, you know, I, I, these are these are these are kind of fun to do. You know, whenever I get, uh, you know, like hockey thoughts that run through my head, you know, if I'm in the car instead of waiting to, to you know, trying to, trying to be like, okay, you know, I got to remember this till I get home. And then when I get home, I totally forget. So I do them in the car and it's kind of fun. But uh, if you are, if you're new to the channel and you love hockey, or if you're if you're new to hockey in general and you love the sport like uh, like I do, uh, it would be greatly greatly appreciated if you would hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to be notified anytime future videos are uploaded, you can hit the little bell, and it will uh, turn on notifications, and you would be notified anytime uh, future videos are uploaded. So I started thinking. I kind of had this thought. Uh, Yesterday, yeah, yesterday when I was when I was out working, and it still has to do with you know the whole you know you got you know Fedotov, Michkov, all that, and everything that's going on. Where even though Ivan Fedotov has a legitimate contract with the Philadelphia Flyers, he goes and he signs. A two-year deal to stay with CSKA Moscow, and the KHL basically, you know, saying, "Yeah, we're we're not gonna, you know, we we don't we don't care that he's got a contract with Philadelphia." Now the NHL and the KHL, up until March of last year, they had they had an agreement where. One league, <clears throat> one league or the other would not try to uh, poach players who already have contracts with the other leagues. Well, that that little that little agreement went out the window in March of 2022. So, with even though uh, Ivan Fedotov has a legitimate contract. A registered contract with the Philadelphia Flyers it is a violation to sign a new contract with a different league now granted what is what are the Philadelphia Flyers gonna do about it I and mean, what can they do about it I don't think there's anything they can really do about it do I think it's kind of shady how how that how that happened uh, maybe a little bit but Nevertheless, he signed this contract with CSKA. The KHL has registered it. And, you know, they just, they don't, the KHL does not recognize the Flyers' contract with Ivan Fedotov. So, what Philadelphia can do, I, I don't know if there's anything they can really do. I mean, there's... You know, not really anything like legal related that I, I just I don't I don't think there's really much they can do. And I mean, granted, it was only a one year deal. So, and he's 26 years old. So I mean, even if <clears throat> if he stays and plays the next two years in Russia, uh, I I don't because the Flyers retain his rights. The Flyers still have his his rights in the NHL. But you become you become an unrestricted free agent at 27 in the NHL. Well, he'll be 12. Well, he's 26 right now. So, you know, I just I don't think there's really anything Philadelphia can do there. Which I mean, I just I the the whole the whole situation just it's 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 scummy. It's just it's 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 not cool. I just I you know it's it's just. 
it, it's it's got it's it's got a lot of it's got a very scummy feeling to it. But here was the thought that I was thinking of last night. So Fedotov has a con has a valid contract with the Philadelphia Flyers. The KHL didn't recognize that contract as being valid. So they registered his KHL contract, so he's playing in the KHL. He will be playing in the KHL. But here's what I was thinking. So the KHL does not, uh, does not recognize NHL contracts. Okay. So if I'm the Philadelphia Flyers, I'm saying, all right, you guys don't recognize our contracts? Okay. We're going to get Matvey Michkov. We're bringing him over here, and we're going to say, screw you. We're not recognizing his contract with your, with your league. He's got three years left to play. He's got, he's got a three-year contract to play in the KHL. So the fact the KHL apparently will not recognize NHL contracts, okay. Well then let's 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 play let's fight fire with fire. If Matt V. Michkov wants to come over for training camp for the Philadelphia Flyers, then the Flyers get him over here. And if the KHL goes and raises a stink and says, we, he has a contract over here. Well, you didn't recognize our contract. You didn't recognize the contract that your guy signed, that this guy signed. So you didn't recognize that. So we're not going to recognize that contract. What's KHL going to do? What, what, what are they going to do? It could turn into a very interesting situation. It could be. It could. It could turn into basically a giant pissing contest between the two leagues. I mean, this this was a league. They used to have a partnership. They kind of partnered for a while, and now it's just they're 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 you know they're loggerheads basically. But if I'm the Philadelphia Flyers, I turn around and I grab Michkov, I bring him over here, put him in, you know, put him in the Flyers organization, get it, get get him to sign a contract, get him to sign his uh, three-year entry-level contract with the Philadelphia Flyers, register that, and then let's see what the KHL decides to do. Because then if they make a big stink saying, well, you know, he's got a contract with our league. Well, you didn't recognize our contracts, so we're not going to recognize your contracts. Could be interesting. It could be an interesting thing. I don't know if that'll happen. I don't know if the Flyers would actually do that. But to me, I think they should try. Absolutely, they should try. Because... You know, Ivan Fedotov was all ready to come over before he was arrested and thrown into the Russian Navy. And then he goes and decides, okay, I'm going to stay there. Why? I don't know. You know, only, only, only he knows, really. But, but just the fact that that the KHL just looked at the contract of the Philadelphia Flyers and just said, yeah, no, we're, we're not going to recognize that contract. So, you know, so he's ours. You know, our contract supersedes your contract. Well, that's, I think that's what they, that's what the Flyers should do with, with Michkov. Bring him over here. Get him over here. Get him, get him to sign a contract with the Philadelphia Flyers, and then watch the KHL, you know, complain. 
I mean, that's 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 my thought. And then when they go and complain, the Flyers can just go and say, pay, pay back, paybacks up, paybacks up, beep, isn't it? You know, paybacks a beep. I think that's I, I I I would love to see the Flyers do that. I really would. I would love to see the I would love to see them go and get Meechkoff from over there, bring him back over here, get him sign his where he can sign that entry level contract with the Philadelphia Flyers, get that registered with the NHL, and then when the KHL goes and decides to to squeal like a pig stuck under a gate, then let the Philadelphia Flyers look at him and say, "Oh, doesn't feel too good, does it?" You did it to us. We're just doing the same to you. I think it'd be I think it'd be very interesting if they did that. I'd love to see them try it. I really would. I would love to see the Flyers try it. Will they? I don't know. But I think it would be very interesting. I would love to see what the KHL's response would be if Matt V. Mishkoff all of a sudden turns up in Philadelphia. He's in the he's in the Flyers' offices and he's signing a three-year entry-level contract with the Philadelphia Flyers and see what the KHL does. I think that would be a lot of fun to see what would happen. Would there be legal fights? I I don't know. I think it could be it could be very interesting. And I kind of hope the Flyers do it. Let me know what you guys think though. Do you do you think the Flyers should do that? I mean, you know, the KHL is not going to recognize an, a valid NHL contract, so why should the NHL recognize a valid KHL contract if they have a player over there that wants to play over here? I think it would be very interesting to see. I don't know if the Flyers will do it, but I think it would be a lot of fun if they did, and I'd love to know what you guys think. Is that something you think the Flyers should do? Or, or do you think the Flyers just should say, you know, just let him, let him play the three years. You know, if he, if he, if he wants to, you know, if he wants to finish out the contract in the KHL, just let him. You know, I mean, because I think that's what the Flyers were initially planning on doing, but he seems like he wants to come over. Whether or not he does, I don't know. I would love it if he does. And I think it would be—I think it would be very interesting to see if they signed him to a contract and watch what the KHL does. You know, what kind of problem would the KHL have? I think it'd be very interesting to see. But let me know what you guys think. You know, what do you guys think of that situation? Should the NHL recognize that three-year that three-year contract, or should the Flyers just bring Mishkov over here? Have him, you know, have him sign the entry-level contract with the Philadelphia Flyers, and basically, you know, tell the KHL to you know give him a give him give him a big double-barrel middle finger, and see what happens. I'd love to know what you guys think, though. Do you guys think that should happen? You know, one way or the one way or the other. I'd love to know what you guys think. Again. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button if you really enjoyed the video. And uh, you know, if, if you have if you have friends out there that love hockey, and uh, you know, and they and they 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 think that uh, you know, and you think you know, they they'd ha they'd have fun you know watching watching some of my videos. Direct them toward the channel. It'd be uh, it'd be awesome. It would be greatly greatly appreciated. So again, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell too if you want to uh, turn on notifications. If you want to be notified anytime future videos are uploaded, it'd be awesome. If you haven't done that yet, go ahead and do that. And again, let me know what you think the Flyers should do. Should they should they, should they just let bygones be bygones and let Michikov play off play out the rest of the rest of his contract? Or do you think the Flyers should just give the double barrel middle finger to the KHL and say, yeah, he wants to come over here, so he's gonna play for us. Let me know what you guys think. Again, hit like and subscribe. Hit that, hit the little bell if you wanna turn on notifications. If you haven't done that yet already yet, it'd be awesome. And uh, I will see you guys later.